Hey guys, if you click that link down below, you'll want to know about the fly fishing areas I talk about in this playlist. So make sure you stay tuned to the end and I'll get as much information to you as possible. Hey guys, really quick, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscription button down below and that notification bell. What that'll do is keep you updated on all the new videos that we have coming out on the channel. And also, if you've got any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to shoot me a text, give me a call at 719-266-2725. I want to be your local expert. If you you can also email me at info at jdmret.net. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And here we go, guys. We're going to be giving you an overview for this fly fishing playlist here uh, on the uh, channel here. So you guys will have an idea of where these places are because you hear me talk about a lot, but if you're not from here, it's going to be kind of confusing. So we'll start here really quick. This is a nice orientation for these fly fishing spots here around the Pice Peak region. We've got Woodland Park here right in the middle uh, to start off with. So the, we'll just kind of start here and work our way out. Um, so we, for a lot of the fly fishing areas I'm going to talk about uh, in this playlist, they're all going to be uh, creeks or rivers and there. I like moving water. You've got lots of reservoirs out here you can fish in too. Those are pretty easy to find, but sometimes these spots on these creeks and rivers are a little bit difficult. So this will hopefully kind of help clarify that for you. So we got Wilden Park sitting right here, um, right in the middle of the screen here. And the first one we're going to talk about is Deckers and Cheeseman. So Deckers and Cheeseman, if you come north out of Wilden Park on 67, you'll continue all the way up and you'll pass the West Creek area up here. So here's West Creek. You'll continue on. You're going to come all the way on 67 to Deckers, um, which is right there. So there you are on uh, Deckers. So Deckers, you watch that video. Um, and if, if it's not out yet, it will be out, I promise. Uh, but uh, Deckers, uh, the fly fishing is right in here. This is the South Platte River right here. This is where you're going to see a lot of folks doing a lot of fishing down in this area. And then as you come up, you can continue on this road right here. It'll take you up to a parking lot for the Cheeseman Canyon Trail. The Cheeseman Canyon Trail is going to walk you back. You're going to end up back here on the South Platte again. You're going to get past all of these private areas. Actually, I think it's actually, yep, here it is. Look, Cheeseman Canyon Fishing Access Trailhead right here. So I was a little bit further away and there's Cheeseman Lake right here too. And that's the reservoir that's out there. And there's a dam right here. And this is all Cheeseman Canyon coming all the way down right here in this area. This trail, you can walk this trail on this west side of uh, the Platte River all the way to the dam. If you want to, you will see folks hike in here all the time also. So make sure you check that one out too. So that's the Cheeseman Canyon trailhead access. That one is a hike in and fish. So make sure you're ready for that. Watch the video for that. So that way you got all the information on that as well. Now we're going to go back down to Woodland Park, just so that you guys know where I'm starting from again. So we got Woodland Park right here. And next, we're going to work our way back out west. So we're going to come out west. We're going to go through Divide right here. We're going to come all the way up to Florissant. We're going to go through Florissant. And we're going to come into the Lake George area. Now, in Lake George, we got the 11-mile canyon recreation area. This is about where the guard shack is right here where you pay to get in. And this is the dirt road that you see in my video that takes you back along the South Platte all the way through 11 mile. It goes, you guessed it, 11 miles through there. You get all the way up to the dam uh, with that road. It will actually take you all the way up through here with the dam section that's fenced off. But you can fish all of this. This is beautiful fishing through here. Check that video out too. Uh, that's one of my favorite areas to go by far. You got 11 mile reservoir right here. This is all part of that South Platte system as well, guys. Next, since we're right here in the Lake George area, we are immediately going to go over and we're going to check out the Happy Meadows area. So we're back here in Lake George. And you can see this is County Road 77 or Terriall Road. Uh, this will also be following this up, following the Terriall Creek. I will show you exactly where the Terriall Creek uh, is and where to go for that portion for those amateur and those new uh, fly fishermen, as well as the kids, getting them involved with it. But first, we'll talk about Happy Meadows. So Happy Meadows, you're going to come off and there's a turnoff uh, right around here. 
believe, that will take you into it. Uh, there's a roadway that kind of follows through this. So this area is a ranch. That's a private fishing area right here. You can't fish that, but you can fish this stretch right here. You get into Sportsman's Paradise too. That's another private area. The hiking trail I'll talk about, the Platte River Trailhead uh, that I have not done yet that I want to. There it is right there on Google Maps. You can actually hike to the other side of uh, Sportsman's Paradise and fish that area down in that section as well. Now, Terryall Creek, uh, we'll continue up Terryall Road all the way up, which is also kind of Road 77, to Terryall Creek, where that actually comes to play. So this is actually Terryall Creek right here. You can see all these extra add-ons onto that as it gets wider going down towards the South Platte, uh, which is going to happen way over here in this area. But you will start actually paralleling this entire area right here, and the Terryall Creek will be seen from the road. It's about 27 miles as you work your way all the way up to the Terryall Reservoir. You can see it's a very small reservoir up there. But this section right here where I got the mouse right there where that 23 is, there's a parking lot right there. That is where the dam is. That is where the um, the actual uh, um, overflow uh, areas. I, I can't remember the term now, but watch the video. I'll talk about it. You'll see it too. And they're in the area I'm talking about fishing, but that is where that section is. Really cool area. This is a beautiful drive too, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. If you haven't been on this drive, certainly worth doing. Lots of really cool hikes here too. Twin Eagle Trailhead. We'll do this hike eventually and have this on the actual uh, YouTube channel as well. But certainly Definitely a place to check out out there by Terrell. So we'll come back down here to Lake George so we can orient ourselves again. So we're back down here on Lake George. Now we're going to head out towards uh, the Dream Stream area. So we'd continue on 24. We're going to come all the way up to Wilkerson Pass, Hills Wilkerson Pass, the, out, the, the Lake George lookout that looks out to the west towards the Collegiate Peaks. And we're going to continue on 24 here. And right here at the San Juan Street intersection, there is a sign that point you towards Spinney uh, Reservoir State Park. That's where you're going to head towards. Uh, you're going to take a left off of 24 here. You're going to continue down. Now, this is that right and left I was talking about in the video. If you take a right, it's going to take you over to, and actually, I think I'm a little bit further past that. Uh, nope, I'm not. So you can also take 447 down. This is a little bit easier of a road, but there's a road that cuts off of a spinny right here and it will take you down to the dam, which is right here off that spinny mountain reservoir. Um, and uh, this is the dream stream right here. This is the portion of the plat that goes between spinny mountain reservoir and 11 mile right here. And that is what is considered to be the dream stream. Now, if you come into the state park here, you are going to have to pay to get in here and park and then you can walk through that wildlife area all the way down through here. You can also park down here where this little tree is off this road. That is a free parking area and you can access both east and west sides of that, or you can access it from the 11 mile area uh, where it comes back up. But that is the dream stream. So I hope this helps to educate you guys as far as where I'm talking about for this particular playlist on here as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it helps you out in that aspect. Also, a little bit of an overview here. And if you haven't done so already, make sure um, you know you guys are following me uh, either on the YouTube channel by clicking the subscription button and that notification bell uh, down below. Uh, so that way you stay up to date on all the videos. Or if it's on Facebook, you're following my Facebook page, James Mount Real Estate Team, uh, where you can see a lot of these videos. Also, for things to do out here, please give me a call. Shoot me a text, 719-266-2725. If you've got any questions, comments, whatever you've got going on, um, I'd love to be your local real estate expert or just your local area expert too, just so you can ask questions if you come out here to visit. I've got no problem answering those for you. I love this area and I love talking to people about it. You can also email me at info at jdmret.net. And I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll see you next time.